Hello there guys, it's the Minecraft guy once again back here to show you how to build an automatic nether portal. Now I've got what I need and ultimately I'm just going to grab a few more things. Now this nether portal, it should work in all versions of the game, so bedrock and java and vanilla. So I'm just going to start off by placing a normal nether portal. And while I'm doing that, you can just keep building the normal nether portal. You're going to break this block here. And then around the edge you want to build some more blocks. Roughly 4x4. Four four. And then at the end... Over here, you want to add another 4x4 four four. blocks on top, it should be 8x4, 4x8. Um, whatever building block you want, and then what you want to do is you want to place your button there. Now, the reason being I'm placing it there is because purely for one reason being it is for the timing which makes it automatic. Now if I go ahead and place a few more blocks down to solve this problem. Now what I did run into in one of the testing in some of the other versions of Minecraft tends to be that the principle for Java edition might change from the lava that's going to be here to the water. We might get rid of the lava, turn into obsidian, which is what we want to make it into obsidian, so just like that. And then we'll just grab a red, some fire charges, things like that. And basically, what we're going to do is just going to place the fire charge here, the water is going to be there, and then the lava is going to be placed here. So, like a down like a diagonal kind of staircase. And what we're going to do is just some basic stuff like this. And that makes sure that when we place down the redstone, it stays insulated so it doesn't connect. Now, what we want to do is we want to work on the first mechanism for when we press the button, and that's going to be the lava. Now, when placing down the lava, I'm just going to make this so then when the lava comes out, it doesn't immediately pour out. The lava is going to come out and the water is going to come out of here, so they need to work on the lava. So the lava should be the first thing that connects up to the redstone. So it should be all the way over here. And it should actually be this button. We're going to have like a time thing, so. And then a bunch of repeaters. And that just helps nail down the timings, change the timings, 4 ticks, 2 ticks. And that would make a delay. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to connect it all the way down to here. Then I'm going to break this, place some redstone, and if I've done this right, that's going to do this. So I need to add a bit more of a delay. So two tick delay there, that will be good. A bit longer. And then if we do that. Yeah, that's better. So the lava's gonna be out and then shortly after after around two more three more ticks, we're going to then add another piece of redstone and then we're gonna start building out here. Now we need to get to the water, which is all the way over here. So I need to go ahead and do this. And then that is going to help and to re it so by doing this. And then this, and then I will just need to connect these two pieces up. And then that, all that will do is essentially make it like this. So first thing is to make sure this definitely works. So if I press this, 
this whole thing, yep, so that'll get the lava out, and then when I place back this repeater, and then that, will work, that should be able to work now, so then if I fill it up with lava and water, if I go in my, into the, my inventory and grab it, there's a lava bucket, there's a water bucket. Now, I'm just going to put in the lava bucket for the bottom one, the second one should be the water. And if I've done this right, then I should just be able to press that. Why hasn't that worked? I've not put... that down, okay. So then if I did this again, that would then do that. And there's, and then what should happen is, we should grab a piece of wood, and it'll just come out like this. We'll press it again, and then the water will come down, and fire charge will shoot out, and this will light. This is because of like an old Minecraft beach that's been in the game for a long time. And in fact some speedrunners will even use this technique if they don't have the time to make a flint and steel. They'll put some lava down next to a piece of wood and it'll light the nether portal. So now I'm just going to refill this with lava. And then that is going to help hold it down. These are the two systems. Now this is the longest part, this is the best bit yet yeah, where it actually lights. It's the main thing that makes this work. So I need to bridge all the way up. this correctly <coughs> and so probably should put in two of these okay and now if I put in a stack of fire charges with this then I do this Okay, so why didn't the water go off? Oh, okay. Why didn't the water go off? That is why the water didn't go off. Okay. Now it's very important that you make sure that you actually make sure that you haven't blocked off any of the parts. So then it keeps on working. And now I've fixed it. If I do this right, there's one, and then there's two. Why doesn't this work? Because this is a disaster. Why won't this light anymore? That was why. I, okay, so that clear now. Clearly, we need to make a bigger tick delay. So that means destroying this. And a much longer tick delay. So we have to wait our whole lives to watch this work. So if I change that, and then I place some more stuff. So if I reconnect that up. replace that and try that again so water yep fire charge which then gets put out and then let's try that again so water goes 
fire charge comes and we have our fully functioning at the portal. Well, like I was saying before, this works on an old principle that would often happen if you didn't build a cobblestone generator very well. Now if I show you how this actually works, then you should have a deeper understanding because I made this in 2020 and I've tested it on the bedrock and the Java edition and this should happen and this should actually work. So as you can see a three down design, lava bucket, water bucket, fire charges. Now let's just complete it. I'm going to add an oak sign. Drops, that's great. And type in press two times, which then means you press this once, deploys the lava, water comes into obsidian, fire charge, press it twice. And like I was saying, if you keep on going around to this, this is ultimately just what happens when you place lava next to obsidian. And it's nothing too complex. I mean, if I show you some of the redstone, it's just three circuitry systems. I can show you some of this stuff. And I'm doing right now. And it's pretty basic, like I said, came out in 2020. Nothing too hard. And once again, this is the Minecraft guy signing out. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.